Greetings, my name is Tony Silva and today we're going to talk about incubation. Uh, now that we approach the breeding season, it's obviously a subject that is on a lot of people's mind. Uh, parrot eggs can be incubated either by the parents or by foster parents or artificially. I'm going to briefly touch on the subject of artificial incubation because I get a lot of questions about this subject. One, because we are in South Florida, the temperature, the, the, the room temperature has to be maintained stable. So we have air conditioning in the room that we have an incubator in. We also get a few cool days, so we also have heat. We try to maintain it so that the temperature is stable around roughly between 74, 75, and 78 degrees. We also rely on ambient uh, humidity. We do not add any humidity, uh, any means of humidity. We don't add water to the incubators because otherwise we would drown the embryos. I think more embryos drown during incubation than um, die from not enough uh, humidity. So what we do is we run our incubators dry. We do not add any more humidity. The humidity in the incubator is approximately what it is in the, in the room that the incubators are in, which is in my office, and that ranges between about 40 and 52 um, percent. So we don't have 60, 70, 80 percent. Many people believe that because parrots are tropical, or a lot of species come from very tropical humid areas, that they require a lot of humidities, that they should really be incubated in a swamp. That is not the case because what happens is the embryos then drown in fluids. An important point is that the eggs be turned. Uh, the egg will not develop unless it is turned. So we not only rely on an automatic turner, but we turn them manually once a day. We also candle the eggs um, continuously and it's a very simple process. You basically grab an egg, we mark the eggs with a number two pencil, and we mark the species, the date, and the code uh, of that particular pair. So what it is is you just shine a light and you look at the eggs, you look at vein development, it should be throughout, and you want to look at the heartbeat. So it's a quick process. Taking the egg out of the incubator for a short period of time is not detrimental to incubation, but it does give us a lot of information. In cases where it is necessary, we can intervene. We can uh, do various things to the shell to either reduce uh, weight loss, meaning that the, the egg is losing um, too much uh, moisture, or that it is not losing enough. And what happens is, is that some eggs, the majority of the eggs develop normally, but some eggs have problems. They don't lose enough or they lose too much. And it is those particular eggs that we really monitor closely and we weigh and then we log their weight in a sheet that tells us what the weight loss is. We want to reach about 16% weight loss at pipping. So that is um, a brief introduction on incubation. We will be doing more where we will get into detail. We will be talking about uh, dealing with key problem eggs and then assisting hatching. Thank you.